Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome to an update on April the 4th, 2016. Uh, yeah, not a lot really happened this week, actually. Um, there's definitely more of a, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming, and this week is to kind of fix everything up and make sure everything's okay after April Fool's Day, which is typical for a first-of-the-month update, unless there's something huge coming that they've promised, like, uh, I don't know, Guild Wars 2, for example, but that was an end-of-the-month update. They had all month to kind of, uh, you know, do that and get it all up to, uh, to par and sparse and stuff. I am slaying some blood velds, and I have 140 of them to go. I could come in here with throne and maybe do some range training, but honestly, can't be bothered. I'm not even bothering to pick up charms at this point. Um, I'm more or less just kind of, you know, here to kill them and get the hell out. Um, it's okay strength training, though, let's be fair. Uh, it's not too, too bad. Uh, but anyway, the updates this week are essentially a bunch of patches for certain things that were glitching that people had reported throughout the last week or so. Uh, Terrorbird Mount stuff and some Solomon Store stuff. So, first of all, uh, April is going to be a busy month. It, it really is. If you've read the behind the scenes, you know kind of what's going to happen. There are two big updates having to do with Mortania. One of them has to do with the Vampires. Uh, essentially, it's a uh, finale quest for the um, Mortania quest line. Uh, though many people thought Branches of Darkmere was going to be that, apparently it is not. So, hooray, another one. Uh, personally, I despise uh, Mortania with a bloody passion, so I'm probably not that interested in these updates, but I mean, there's a lot of people that find it very interesting, and the lore in those quests is actually quite deep, and if you enjoy RuneScape storyline and lore, you'll probably enjoy the quest. Uh, but anyway, uh, also the launch of the NXT client is coming out this month. I believe on the 18th was the release date, so that'll be the third update in the month. Uh, actually, it won't be the third or it'll be the last. No, it'll be the, yeah, the third update in the month. Uh, so we'll probably see those vampire quests first, and then uh, NXT, and then the last update of the month will probably just be bug fixes for NXT, because there'll probably be a lot, <laughs> I imagine. Uh, the beta and stuff has definitely ironed the hell out of it, but there will still be some bugs and stuff like that to do in the first week or two. Uh, so expect a lot of updates, I imagine, that week. But anyway, the patch notes. Uh, basically just reading from the thing here. Uh, I will also link all this in the description below. Clans have received some love. There are some useful changes to a host of items and NPCs amongst this week's fixes. Uh, you can check out everything that's gone, uh, gone in the game by reading the full patch notes on the forum thread. Again, link in the description. Uh, I will quickly go over some of the more important ones, maybe. Uh, while there are no major, major updates this week, as I previously said, there are all kinds of stuff coming in April from the finale quest for the Vampire uh, quest line to the NXT client on the 18th of April. And uh, yeah, you can watch the behind the scenes video if you want to see them kind of talking about what's going on this month. Again, uh, I will link it in the description. So the patch notes, essentially, there's a lot of shit that they did. An absolute ton of stuff. Um, a lot of it is just basic bug fixes and stuff that have just people have reported over the last week or so. Um, if you want to read it all, it is a long list. Uh, there's a good 50, 50 to 75 items easily on this list. Uh, so you can just hit the link in the description, give that a quick read through. They have a categorized too, so if there's something uh, that you were looking for, uh, fix with God Wars 2, there's a list for that. There's a list for quest, uh, skills D&D is graphical. Uh, clan, other ninja fixes, apparently. So there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, definitely give it a read if you, that's uh, something you want to know about. If there's a bug that's been bugging you and you've either reported it or know somebody that reported it, it might be fixed now, so you can definitely give that a read. Next thing that they did this week, the Terrorbird Mounts, the April Fool's joke, which was actually kind of funny. Uh, the Terrorbird Mount is literally just... <laughs> the graphic they have for this uh, is on their... Um, it's a vine... It's on RuneScape's vines, and uh, I assume that this is going to give them a whole ton of loops because it just keeps looping and looping and looping. But uh, it's a pretty funny mount. It's just like this sewn-together cloth thing, and you put your feet in it, like a Halloween costume almost, like how you'd mount it, uh, or something that like Monty Python would do. Uh, it's pretty funny, but it is currently free in the Solomon store from now until the end of the month. Uh, and they might not get you around Gilinor any quicker, but a mount's a mount, right? Uh, 
A lot of people were hoping that this is maybe uh, something that's a tease towards mounts in the future, because uh, one thing that RuneScape players have wanted for a very long time that many, many other MMOs have, and RuneScape has just not had, is mounts. Uh, personally, uh, and this might be an unpopular opinion, I really don't want mounts in RuneScape. I see no use to them besides maybe cosmetic. Um, as far as getting around the world, RuneScape is different in the fact of many other MMOs that RuneScape is heavily teleport based. You can basically teleport within a half a minute walk from basically anywhere that you need to go. From the lodestones to the regular teleports to special items and items like uh, the Ring of Wealth and Glory to stuff like uh, quest teleports like the fairy system, the balloons. Um, uh, the the logs on the river Lum, for example, there's just so much teleports that I fear mounts will be completely useless and do nothing but bug up the game for a week or two. But that's just me. I don't know. If you want the free funny terror mount, which is absolutely hilarious, uh, definitely definitely give it a uh, grab it there and just kind of waddle around the GE with it. It's pretty funny. Uh, the next uh, and the last thing this week, again, like I said, kind of a uh, meh week overall for updates. Uh, in the Solomon store, there's now Navigator Outfits, and to be honest, from the concept art that's on here, it looks pretty neat, actually. The, I don't know about the woman's one with the pink hair, I hope that's not included, because it's kind of weird, but the rest of the woman's outfit looks pretty damn good. Some pretty nice looking uh, boots there, uh, and uh, the jacket looks pretty cool on both the male and the female, and you know, it looks pretty neat, it's a neat outfit, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it doesn't say how much it will be, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, Treasure Hunter will also be offering some more fantastic items this week. Uh, keep an eye out for the news post coming soon. Um, I don't think it's on here yet for the coming soon because, yeah, the, the rare thing hasn't ended yet. So we'll probably see that tomorrow. We'll see the coming soon thing on that. I hope it's another, like, it's like smoldering lamps or another 50% ex bonus XP or something because... Those things are badass, and that's more or less how I got 99 Prayer, is through all the bonus XP stuff. I, I still have a mill bonus XP for Prayer. Like, I could go and get probably almost two levels. I could almost get 101 with the bonus XP I've got going on, which is hilarious. I still have 200k XP, or 150k XP for smithing, but that's gotten after I got 99. I got a bunch of the big, large smithing ones, and I'm like, really? Seriously? I, I don't need smithing bonus XP. Uh, cooking, I don't have any, and herb, I have a little bit. I just got herb, so. Uh, not news related, but I did get my hands on uh, some of the new armors from the God Wars. I know a lot of you have. They're really, really cheap. Uh, set wise, the legs and the um, uh, top, not the helmet. The helmet is not included in this. I did not buy the helmet because I use my Slayer Helm for mostly everything. Um, it only cost me about 40 mil. So it's not too bad. I just kind of honestly wanted to check them out, see how good they are, and try them out in battle. They're not degradable, so I mean, worst comes to worst, I can just sell them back. Uh, personally, I'm liking them more. Uh, I did some more higher fights and stuff to see if it kind of holds out better than Bandos. It definitely does. It is a much higher uh, armor rating. It's about uh, just over 100 uh, ratings higher in both leg and torso. Uh, strength bonus is also quite a bit higher as well. Uh, the only major thing with uh, uh, the Zeros melee armor, at least, as those are the ones I've really been able to test, is the fact that there's no prayer bonus. Um, if you have the tacits and the torso, you get a from both of them, you get a plus three prayer bonus. So if you have lower prayer and defense is not as big of a priority to you, but uh, having a prayer bonus definitely is, because you're going into a fight of some description that you need it, uh, you have lower prayer and you need it. I have 99, so I'm really not too concerned about a prayer bonus at this point. Um, uh, you know, I have overloads as well, and I have like you know super prayer and all that kind of shit. So I really the prayer prayer bonus really does not f bother me to not have. But uh, if that is an important thing to you, definitely stick around with your bandos if you want non-degradable. Um, if not, and you have either the money or you have the time to go and spend in God Wars Dungeon 2 to get uh, the stuff required to make this armor and have this armor, uh, it's definitely worthwhile. I'm quite enjoying it. I think it's great. Uh, its defense is definitely much better than bandos, and that's definitely showing through in some of my more uh, difficult uh, tasks. And uh, yeah, I'm quite liking it.
I think it's I think it's a great uh, addition into the game. That's not like a super high level. It's not breaking any boundaries. Like stuff like malevolent is still like you know the best kind of stuff in the game. It's tier ninety degradable, but it is it, the stats show uh, definitely. But uh, for something for people who either one you know can't really afford to have the whole degrade stuff yet. Uh, but want to improve their armor from the bandos because they just feel the bandos is not doing it. Uh, it's it's a good addition. Uh, they're all good additions. Uh, I don't think it's going to drop bandos either because of the lack of that prayer bonus uh, and because bandos for um, invention and stuff is still quite popular because it's easy and cheap to get a hold of and there's lots of it in the game. Uh, I, so I don't think it's going to you know, some people are saying, oh, it's going to crash the market for original God Wars stuff. It's, you know, original God Wars uh, and God Wars stuff is dead. I don't think that's true at all. Uh, lots of people are still going to go to original God Wars for bossing. Lots of people are still going to buy original God Wars armor for, uh, to use it in their everyday lives. Uh, so I really don't think that it's the apocalypse for that. But anyway, uh, that had nothing to do with the update. I just wanted to kind of make a comment on that uh, while because it kind of fits into the update thing. I'll probably talk about, I'll talk more about it in the vlog on Wednesday. <clears throat> excuse me, on Wednesday. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, enjoy the updates, I guess. I don't know. If you're going to get the outfit, great. It looks pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, get your damn terrorboard mount. Just wander around with your terrorboard mount. I don't have one. I have to go get one. I just logged in. I forgot to get one in April Fool's, and I was like, oh, I guess you can't get one now. But I'll go get one when I'm done this task. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.